day and age and the nature of globalization and the stakes involved uh, and the impact that it has on the entire world, especially on the global south. Those who can try to make a difference should try and do it. Uh, and to some extent, that's been the logic, the driving force, the thinking behind uh, some of our activities, say, for example, in respect of Ukraine, uh, which is uh, in the last few months, you have actually had uh, Prime Minister meet President Zelensky three times. This is in his third term since, since June. Uh, he's met Putin once, he's spoken to him more often, and the NSA and myself, we've been in touch. And the reason we are doing it is uh, we are one of the few countries, and Prime Minister Modi is one of the few leaders, who today has the ability to actually go to Kiev and Moscow and talk to the two leaders and see are there common points, is there something we can start, is there uh, some convergence, some intersection that we can see, which can become a strand which you pick up and try and develop and, you know, uh, see whether things could be better than they are. I mean, surely they can't be worse than uh, they are. Uh, Middle East is more tricky in a way uh, because the, the uh, conflict itself is there are more parties, not all of them are formal. Uh, and uh, not all of them acknowledge their role in what they're doing. Uh, but uh, again, uh, it's not that uh, we have been uh, uh, uninvolved. I mean, at various times, uh, we have played some role in, if nothing else, in communication between countries, some of whom for political, historical reasons, don't communicate with each other. Uh, so there is that. Uh, so I would say, the, you know, the, the reason, again, I connect it up with your Global South observation. The Global South is, because it is the Global South, feeling the pain much more of a, of a global uh, society and a global economy under stress. They would like somebody to do something about it. To the extent that you have a country like India which understands, you know, which is coming <clears throat> in a sense from that family, which understands their concerns, is able to put it across, I think they're very happy about it. Uh, they, they do, uh, uh, you know, uh, clearly support a lot of our initiatives. It was very visible in the UN. From an Indian perspective, what do we get out of it? Uh, I, I do think, I think it's in the nature of our uh, situation, the, the, manner, the way in which we are trying to manage our rice is that uh, it's important that we are uh, really connected to all the major players. We are seen as a country with a greater sense of responsibility towards uh, the global polity. Uh, and it's, you know, it's part of uh, India's own, uh, I would say, evolution. Uh, 